Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Chess. In last video, we created the two buttons: listen and connect. Uh, ready to play with socket com communication with the other side of the um, program. Okay, so in this video, let's try connect first. So this guy will play with um, in the role of socket client. Okay, and there are basically three things um, to keep in mind. First, we need a permission for Android um, application to use internet, to use network actually. And the second, to run the socket uh, program, we cannot use UI thread, the main thread. We have to use a background thread to run that. Otherwise, um, the app will crash. Third, um, local host might not work in uh, the debugging environment. So maybe we should use the the IP address of my machine, this machine. Okay, and uh, okay, let's get started. So first of all, we need a permission here. Um, we can put it here, something like uses permission. What? There's no auto com complete. I have to type on my own Android name. Why? Well, it's the auto complete. Maybe it's in the wrong place. Haha. -ha. It should be here. So this is the app. This is the app application. So we. We'll ask for permission here. Use, yes, use permission. Permission name is, uh, we need internet. Internet, this guy. Okay, great. And uh, close it. That's it. Use permission. Android permission to internet. Okay, now. We can go to our code, go to our um, placeholder code um, for this connect. We know where it is, it's inside our main activity here, right? So this is our, we can put the code here. Let's rerun it, make sure everything, everything is working as expected, okay, connect. Oh, let's bring up, yeah. yeah. So click again. We see the output, right? Now let's put the code here. So we need a, we need a background thread, right? So an easier way, an easy way to do that is executor dot new single thread executor dot execute um, like that okay so we can put our code here um, we'll create a socket to our luckily we already in our previous videos we created uh, the desktop java chess game with both client and uh, uh, client socket and the server socket capabilities there okay so we can use that to test this guy you see show three so value socket equals a new socket like that we'll put in the uh let's try local host okay local host first if it doesn't work we'll put the IP address here um, yeah our famous port 50,000 okay so by the way the the IP address of my machine is we can check here right this is MacBook 
system preference network here this is the IP address of this machine so um, let me make a copy of that and put it here just in case okay 192.168.0.15 okay close it and uh, with the socket here we can create our scanner actually is the wrapper of our input string and the printer print writer print writer um, which is a wrapper of the uh, output string so uh, the scanner we use this in our desktop java 2 okay equals new scanner like that now we can um, get the input string from our socket okay the other one this is for input and uh, we won't try output in this video but just put it there print the writer um, print writer this guy is convenient thing to be uh, to play the role of the wrapper of our out, uh, output string get out no 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 socket dot dot get output string yeah so now this one can right keep scanning uh, the input uh, from the socket so we can use a while like scanner dot has next line right and if we okay we let's lock the the line so d we have tag no this guy and uh, this is the syntax to you no know, we need a string here and this is a string template okay so scanner dot next line like that so this should be able to display whatever coming in from the socket now basically this guy is ready to test the uh, the connection between the uh, the other socket terminal okay now let's bring up our um, desktop Java we created in our previous videos so in Eclipse there's a pop-up window on my big display okay oh it shows up there this is our uh, oh the Eclipse environment our chest is here this guy and uh, the source code is here so yeah chest controller we have our client socket client and the socket server here so run socket server yeah here and let's add one more line here to sh to show right to to show whenever our client connected so this one is a blocking blocking method so after that it means the socket is ready so let's output our a message here so connect it from that's output the the socket um, address okay internet address okay now let's run it mm -hmm. so uh, make it how can we do that there's no much room here and I have to okay so I don't know let's run it first and I put it on the right so this is the socket server let's 
click listen. Okay, listening on pod 50,000. Yeah, you see here. Now, if this guy receives a socket connection requirement, right? It will output connected from something here. Mm -hmm. Let's put it like that. Now we need to go back to um, this client. Uh, let's rerun it. So clear and uh, run it. Okay, so um, I want to display. Oh, well, it's our chessboard there. Okay, now make this guy maybe smaller so it don't cover our um, emulator. Now we still can move make a move right here now connect oh it crashes and then nothing displays here this might be caused um, by we are not using this guy okay let's try it Okay, so we don't need to restart the server, right? The server is still there, this guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the server is still here, listening on this pod. Um, now let's try it again with our client. This time we're using uh, an IP address instead of a local host. And that's something special in Android Studio, right? For some reason, um, it refuses to use the uh, local host as the popular um, address of the local machine. Now, let's get to our console on the server, and maybe this guy. So let's make sure it, everything is good. Okay, now connect. Oh yes, right. Connect it from. Oh, <laughs> the same address, same address. Because we are testing the two instances of the the, the two programs, two processes from the same machine. Now, if we make a move on the server because we already have a code right on the Android side reading anything from the every text line from the socket so it should be something dump out if we make a move here so this one will be um, the move is from 0 1 to 0 3 okay let's try that 0 1 to 0 3 Yes, you see here, debug, no, uh, is it debug, oh yeah, debug output 0, 1, 0, 3, okay, let's make another move, so this guy will be 1, 7, 2, let's do this one, 1, 0, 2, 2, 2, okay, 1, 0, 2, 2, 2, right, 1, 0, 2, 2, that's great, it works. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.